how's it going everyone it's this here and today we're gonna have a little interesting tear down video so we got here old irobot roomba uh, vacuum cleaner yeah robot smart vacuum cleaner and also we got another irobot roomba so this one is uh, model 650 this one is 770 so I'm gonna show you in this video tear down of those vacuum cleaners differences and the, how to replace the battery and uh, filters and other stuff so hey let's go okay let's go so this is 7070 this is 650 uh, that bit dusty so I'm about to clear them first a little bit so battery replacement in both these both of these vacuum cleaners is the same so yeah, all that you have to do is remove the storage then you need to remove the these brushes here and then after that remove those four uh, screws and that's it the battery is right here so without a problem you'll be able to do that and uh, yeah simple so this one is the same thing so I'm not gonna tear down both of those right now I'm just gonna test both of those later I'm gonna tear down only 770 because this one has all the features and stuff that this one has but only a little bit more just you know a little bit better so this one has a little bit more so we're gonna tear down that one so on this model 770 to replace the battery you only need to remove this little top not the whole area so it's easier we have two screws less to remove three so yeah you can literally do it again in less than a minute so there's an old iRobot battery that does not work anymore we got the same one from Amazon and they're so cheap on Amazon so you can get the battery of course not from iRobot but it runs perfectly uh, you can get the battery from the Amazon for less than 20 bucks, something around that price. This package I paid 40 bucks just because in the package I also got more brushes, filters, other stuff. So it was a good deal. Actually, it was more on 30 dollars price. But yeah. So my experience with this, with these both uh, iRobot cleaners is that they were not working this one was literally working for like a 30 seconds something like that and in the in this one in 650 that did not work at all it was just blinking uh, orange light on the charger uh, I put a new battery and it runs like new cleaned the whole house without a problem it was working for like I think like hour and 30 minutes something like that so yeah, I put a new battery in. Hey, there's a sound, so that means it's working. Okay. And let's put this back. Now let's just see, does it work? If it does, There you go, it says battery full, that's good. Okay, well, we're gonna go back on, tear that down. So now again, I'm gonna open, tear down everything. So first I'm gonna remove this. This is the storage for the, yeah, dust and stuff when it's dirty. And here I'm gonna first install the new filters. So what they were saying, the, the difference between 650 and 770 is uh, 770, so this is this model, uses uh, some better filters. So like if you have animals and stuff, it's better for if like if you're allergic or some, something. Anyway, it's got some better filters. I'm not a super nerd, so I don't know every detail. I'm just here. To have fun in this tear down, same as you. So yeah, we pop the new filters. So this part is ready. Okay. 
If you're maybe wondering about the tool that I'm using, you can watch some of the videos that I uploaded previously. Me unboxing and first impression of the Devel tool. So yeah, this is the whole top. Super simple to remove. And that is how you would replace the battery on 650. You would remove the whole top, no problem. So yeah, we're gonna take the battery again out. And so now let's just quickly uh, comment on what we see right here. So these on the sides are edge sensors. So you don't want your vacuum cleaner to go, you know, from from a cliff or down the stairs or whatever. I don't know. Do you have a cliff in your house? Anyway, <laughs> and then uh, so yeah, we have two two wheels that have two motors. Uh, they are simple uh, brush motors. That is one thing that I didn't really like. I like more brushless motors. There's a little bit difference, but brush motors they work just fine and they are cheaper. So yeah, but I hope maybe in the future they'll, they'll put brushless motors and that would be better. But yeah, so we have two motors and these wheels can spin. Uh, let me put it like this. These wheels can spin independently so it can turn uh, in one place. Also, they have springs. Why? So you can, uh, and also has a, like a little click. That's a micro switch. So when you pick up, when if the vacuum cleaner is working and you pick it up, you'll notice, okay, it's not on the ground anymore. It's not, it's not on the floor and it'll turn off. So that's uh, kind of just a safety feature. These two pins here are for the, for the charging dock. And we're gonna talk more later uh, about the charging dock technology, how it attaches onto and stuff like that. Okay, so if you maybe have a situation that these wheels are spinning, but uh, the vacuum cleaner is not actually moving, then this little guy solves that problem. How? Well, underneath it is the one, another sensor here. So, when that white black white black goes that sensor knows okay this vacuum cleaner is actually moving but if the wheels are turning and it's only one color going to that sensor then vacuum cleaner know that it's not moving and you know there is some type of error or assistance needed and stuff like that so that's a cool little nice feature and also has this little motor for this little brush to spin to bring the dust inside so vacuum cleaner can pick it up. Now, if you want to remove the brushes, that's also super simple. You, even, you don't even need to remove the top cover. So just pop this, there we go, open. We're gonna take this out. We're gonna put a new ones. So now we're gonna dig a little bit deeper in it. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the rest of the screws. You can use the regular screwdriver. I'm just using the drill because it's faster, more convenient. There we go. Remove this part. Now we removed one wheel, and like I said, here's the, the motor, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much straightforward. Here's the connector for the motor. Now this one is the same way, and this one probably, so we're gonna remove that. Here we have another motor. It's interesting way how it's connected, it's on springs, so that's, very interesting, so this, these are connectors and these are the springs and that's how it is connected. So I'm not gonna go further than this because there's just a lot of screws, lot of things to remove, 
just to see a motherboard. So all the actual hardware moving parts, all the interesting things were here. So we saw all that and underneath of this we just have a sensor and five more sensors. So like I said, this is sensors, uh, sensor to know uh, the movement. I think they call it, yeah, just like a mouse tracker. You know, like you have a uh, yeah, computer mouse. So that type of tracker. Just to know does the vacuum cleaner is actually moving or is stuck on spot. And these are the, the edge sensors. So now we're gonna return everything back. But before that, I'm gonna clean up a little bit this vacuum cleaner because before me it was used a lot in a area where there were dogs, pets, so it has a lot of stuck, a lot of hair around. So first I'm gonna go remove that and I'll be back. Now since I have just some hair, pet hair, stuck in this area, I'm gonna try to remove this part. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, so we cleaned this area. Now we're gonna return all that back. Now we can put this back. Good thing is that it says on the wheels that which one is right, which one's left. So actually, tear down and uh, assembly of this vacuum cleaner is very simple it's very straightforward and also the repair repairability of iRumba vacuum cleaners is very simple and thankfully in these times there are plenty of YouTube videos Where you can learn exactly how to yeah replace the battery or tear down anything or how does something works also if you are interested in videos like this leave a like subscribe and leave a comment what type of videos you would like to see in the future okay I also decide to tear down this little area where you put the brushes so you just pop these clips out. Why? If you want to really clean the vacuum cleaner and you had a pet, this is where a lot of hair will also go. So yeah, I'm gonna clean that out now. Now we're gonna pop this back after we cleaned it. There we go. So is this vacuum cleaner good? Yes, yes it is. So most of my apartment is in a thick carpet and it cleaned all that carpet without a problem and I was very satisfied. So short story, my wife used a regular vacuum cleaner like two days ago. Then I had actually 650 to clean the house while I was test testing the new battery and it found so much of the dust and stuff that it fill out the whole storage so yes it really picks up a lot cleans really really good like re very convenient and I love that I have it now we're gonna put a new brushes back now we put in new brushes so this one hmm do they fit oh there you go Sometimes Amazon will give you wrong parts, but not this time. It fits. Okay. There we go. Now that's nice. That's how it's supposed to be. Now, if you're gonna do this tear down with the drill, you gotta be very careful to not put too much of the pressure, too much of the torque on these screws because really quickly you can 
you can damage the area where the screw goes and then it'll just spin indefinitely and not really grab uh, surf and not really grab and hold uh, two parts uh, firmly okay so we did that now we're gonna put this back now we just clip that in there we go now that's beautiful that's how it's supposed to be love it now we're putting the new battery back there we go our baby is working let's put it to the top hope i didn't forget anything <laughs> and also hope you guys enjoyed in this tutorial and in this little tear down now we install here new filters. There we go. We're gonna also put a new brush here. Okay, and then also, of course, you know this is a bumper for like if the, if it bumps it to anything. It works something great. And uh, one detail that I want to point out is. If it bumps into your leg or something like that, it's really like soft bumps, so it ain't gonna hurt you or or nobody in the family. Here are the new filters. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Start up. There we go. It's working. So also the reset of the Roomba cleaners. You just hold this for about uh, 10 seconds, something like that. There we go. That means that it reset it. And also, how to do a software update on these cleaners is on this 770, you just remove the top. And here, under this little top, is a plug. And from uh, and you can uh, from uh, iRobot company get uh, a little machine it's called Osmo and that's how you're gonna update the software if needed on your vacuum cleaner that sounds a little bit insane but anyway yeah these are times that we're living in update software software on your vacuum cleaner now the newer vacuum cleaners uh, that you can co this one and the 650 unfortunately you can't connect with uh, your Google speaker or your Amazon speaker but you can buy really cheap on uh, eBay or Amazon remote control so you don't need to press these buttons and chase the vacuum cleaner and you can also install the app and interact with your vacuum, with your vacuum cleaner through the app now the later versions you can uh, connect them with uh, Amazon or Google and also I'm sure that the software update can be done through through probably a Bluetooth connection through a smartphone, something like that. So, and now when we were able to see what's inside of those iRobot Roomba vacuum cleaners and we were able to tear them down and assemble them back and they're both working. Now we know what's in it and how they're working and it's very interesting technology behind all of that. So I really enjoyed this video. I hope you did it too. And please let me know for the next video. What would you like to see? Do you want to see more videos of the inside videos like this or maybe something else? Just feel free to leave your comment. And also do not forget like, share, subscribe and all those good things. Let's make this tech channel grow so we can all have a better fun in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.